Hey foundation lovers, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and it's Foundation Friday where I review new foundations every Friday. So today's foundation I'll be reviewing is by Bare Minerals. Now if you saw my video last week, I just reviewed the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation, but I really think I'm more of a liquid foundation type of girl. So I got the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. So they have about, I think at least three different liquid foundations. One says like sheer to full coverage, one says medium to full coverage, but this one is their full coverage one. And I'm just a full coverage type of gal. Now, if you saw my Snapchat story, you saw me go to four, no, five different stores to try to find my color. For some reason, Sable, number 21, was just trending in the valley over here. So I had to eventually go to the Bare Minerals counter in Macy's to get it. But it all worked out because this foundation is $34, but I got it for 15% off because Macy was having a sale, so I got it for $28.90. So this definitely would be considered a high-end foundation sold at Ulta, Sephora, or the Bare Minerals counter at Macy's, probably even Nordstrom's, or on the Bare Minerals website. And this bottle is a glass bottle. It's one fluid ounce, just like the rest of the foundations I review. You pop off the top and it has a pump, which is my favorite way to dispense liquid foundation. So there are 30 different shade ranges to choose from for this foundation, and there are nine shades darker than my skin tones. So the cool thing about Bare Minerals is that they're not your average foundation. They actually have really good ingredients that really focus on the skin. So the creamy liquid foundation contains bamboo stem extract for a naturally matte soft focus finish. I will agree, I'm very matte right now and my skin does have a very soft focus finish if I do say so myself. While papaya enzymes, oh fancy, gently improve skin's texture both immediately and over time. With good for skin ingredients, it won't clog your pores. That's a big one for us acne prone skin girls. This foundation is heat, humidity, water, and sweat resistant. That's a lot of claims. I might have to just go jog in the rain to test that theory. Eh, never mind. So what all that means is there's some good stuff in this bottle and it's supposed to be actually helping our skin over time. But without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation to my face. Okay, so my skin is already moisturized, but now I'm going to apply my primer. This is the Veil Mineral Primer by Hourglass. When I do a high-end foundation review, I like to use a high-end primer. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the foundation fresh out the box. I'm gonna be using a damp beauty blender per usual. And let's see what one, oh, come on, oh my goodness. Twist it to unlock it, that's important. And now I'm gonna apply. All right, that was kind of one and a half pumps. Let's see. Interesting. So it does kind of have like more of a yellowish undertone, but I look really pale on this side and I'm definitely losing all of my color this winter. So let's go ahead and even this out. I am getting some really good coverage though. See, look at that. Covered up all those blemishes. So, so far, I'm already liking the coverage of this liquid foundation more than the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation. Okay, so first impression of just the foundation on its own, I feel like it's a little yellow for my skin tone, but this was kind of the best match when I was in the store, but I can make it work. Coverage-wise, I do think you get some good coverage. It's probably like more of a medium with possible full coverage, but but as you guys may know, my major test is to see how long this makeup lasts. So let me go ahead and put on the rest of my face. Ah, <sighs> told you I could fix it. So although I did look pretty yellow with just the foundation, now that I finished my whole face, I think it looks really good. I think I was able to blend it well with the rest of my skin tone. I did set it with the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation. So although technically this is called a powder foundation, I then used two foundations. I used a liquid with a powder foundation on top of it. But 
Look at my skin. I look super matte right now, and I think it's actually kind of like blurring my pores. I really like this finish. It says it's supposed to have a soft focus finish, and that's really what I'm getting. So as of right now, I am loving the results. I will admit that I was kind of like whatever about the powder in my last review, but I have been using this powder over other foundations and I've been loving it on top of foundation. So it only makes sense that it should look amazing on top of its sister, the Bare Pro Foundation. The Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation claims to last a total of 24 hours. I don't really wanna stay up for 24 hours, but I will wear this foundation for as long as possible. So right now it is 3 p.m., so I will come back at the end of the day, you know, as late as possible, and I'll show you exactly how well or horrible this foundation looks. And I'm back, it is now 12.30 a.m. I told you I was gonna stay up for as long as I possibly could. So that means I've had on this foundation for nine and a half hours. And I must say that I think it looks really good. I'm pretty matte for the most part. Per usual, I always get a little shiny right here and right in the middle of my forehead, but it's really not that bad. I think that my coverage is still there. I don't really have any blotchiness. Did not get that oily. I'm very impressed. So now I'm gonna grab my oil absorbing sheets like I always do. These are by Clean and Clear, but you can get any brand you want and I'm going to do a little oil test. And let's see how oily I am. Not that bad. Okay, so here's the amount of oil. There is a little bit of transfer happening. But now, I'm completely matte once again. So I think if I would have blotted at a regular hour on a normal day like I normally would, this foundation would be just fine at any hour of the day. I just stretched it to nine and a half hours for this video. But this foundation does claim to last 24 hours and I do think I would continue to wear this foundation for more hours if I really needed to. So first impressions, I am very happy with it, especially since it does have so many natural ingredients. This is probably a great option for someone that is dealing with acne or if you have very oily skin. This is working well for the health of your skin and for keeping us oily skin girls matte. So I'm definitely excited to continue to wear this foundation for the rest of the week. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so I can give you any daily updates and you can see how this foundation does on different days. So that is everything I have to say about the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. I am very happy with it and I definitely would recommend this, especially matched with the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation. If you are a Bare Minerals fan, please let me know what are your favorite Bare Mineral products, what you think I should try next, have you used it over a long time? Do you notice a difference in your skin? Please let me know because I'm curious. If you want more foundation reviews, make sure you come back next week. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I hope to see you all next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.